Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk about tiles and themes on Android. It's uh, something that you can rely from Android templates, but uh, at uh, one point you get so confused that uh, you know you need to take time and uh, figure out the difference between those and uh, how they work. So what I have here is just a simple activity here. Nothing uh, in the XML. What we're gonna focus is uh, just understanding styles, how they work. Let's start with small things. First, when you open XML, styles.xml, there is only style tag, right? There is no theme. And uh, what it does is uh, basically just wraps a bunch of uh, attributes so that you can apply them once for view and uh, maybe reuse them. And it inherits attributes from the parent uh, style. Let's call the style for now. And then in uh, your layout you can use it with the style tag. Let's say this. One of the frustrating things is uh, that uh, this style has no namespace, right? Usually you see everything here has uh, Android namespace. If you try to use Android, Lint will give you some hint. Let's try to build it. Yeah, it says uh, attribute not found. Let's try app. No lint hint same attribute not found so as you see style works only without any namespaces and a good explanation you can find here reason why style doesn't uh, have namespace prefix Over there, I'll link this uh, under video description. So it's at its uh, very core, it's pretty simple, right? You just apply a bunch of attributes for use, and you can reuse them. Then what theme is? So if you open a manifest application, you can see some of the use cases of theme is in for application tag, activity tags some may be applied and it links to the same style tag in XML so it's just the same uh, set of attributes right well there is uh, some attributes that can be applied only inside of the style tag and cannot be used uh, for view attributes in here attributes like this color primary accent etc those cannot be used uh, outside of the style. All right, and then let's see at the, the difference between the style and theme attributes, how they work, because they use the same, they can use the same uh, reference, right? So theme applies to the view itself and all the nested children, when the style applies only for the view itself. And uh, when you apply for theme for application, it, it applies for every activity and every view inside of them. When it's just uh, scoped for activity, then it goes just for this activity. And you can apply themes for view groups as, as well. A bar layout theme is applied for this one. So this theme applied for a bar layout and toolbar and everything that is nested in there. All right, that's the core difference. People call in the parents, uh, style parents as themes, not styles. When the, the tag uh, literally says style, right? I think it goes from the, I think it goes from the attributes that you use it with. Let's say if you 
use the style tag uh, with the theme attribute it's called theme otherwise it's a style and yes uh, theme attribute works uh, with the android and apps namespaces so i think it covers uh, the difference between uh, styles and themes it's pretty simple right use the same use same uh, xml tag just different attributes that it applies with now let's uh, look at the most uh, frustrating things for beginners with styles found myself many times uh, confused with the styling so here is the our base theme it uh, inherits from light dark caption bar and if you just uh, put toolbar let's remove this for now if you just create it yourself like toolbar with background you might not even know what this stuff does let's see what it would look like yeah you see you get dark text as i said you can always rely on templates they generate all the stuff that you need but uh, maybe you like maybe you create a toolbar yourself you know and you don't understand all the style themes you run your activity and boom the text is black right you want to change text color for your toolbar you type android color run it boom the text is black again but you literally declared text color white right well what you need to understand here is that there is a nested text view inside of the toolbar let's see if i have a uh, layout boundaries in here somewhere I think it should be. Yeah, it's called show layout bounder bonds. Huh. Well, okay. So if you show layout bonds, it will uh, be more clear that text view is a distinct view, right? It will show you bonds uh, around this view which means that there is a nested view inside of this toolbar it's added with the when you call set support action bar let's comment it and see what's uh, gonna happen no text view right all right let's bring it back so obviously there is a nested text view in here and uh, this attribute is just ignored for it the second frustration about uh, toolbar is that okay you kind of googled uh, looked on stack for themes right and let's say you figured that you need to apply this theme for your toolbar theme overlay app uh, compact dark action bar and you expect it to have a white text right you type style let's run it same right 
text is black. So why is that? I mean, it's it could be really confusing, but uh, as we mentioned before, the difference between style and it and theme attributes that style applies only for this view and there is somewhere inside of a bar overlay there is somewhere in here it says text view white and this attribute is not applied for children that's the children so it's again ignored you need to use theme instead here it is finally we got white text color and this explains why in the default template theme is applied for a bar layout and nothing in here right because all the attributes from this style which is called theme applied for toolbar and all the nested children of toolbar as well and uh, yeah let's see I have a uh, let's see uh, just have one more example of theme I have this style which is uh, just one attribute text color white let's just create few text views and wrap them inside of layout Forgot to s no the text is there. Where is it? Okay, behavior thing. It's hidden behind the toolbar. All right, the text is there and the color is uh, black. So you can either apply style for each view or you can use the and you can use the theme for linear layout and the it will be applied for every text view, so the text will be white. As you see, there is nothing complicated in here. You just need to take some time and uh, figure out the stuff that's uh, not clear. And yeah, that's it. Also, you can uh, press Ctrl Q to show all the attributes uh, from this theme. And yeah, basically that's uh, all I wanted to discuss. It's just that uh, style applied for single view, theme for everything nested and the view itself. And uh, alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like the video. Bye.